uh, my name's Matt Katz. Uh, I am the owner here at uh, Katz Atelier, which is a, a Wellington-based art school, and I'm also a senior tutor at Massey University. I've been teaching at uh, Massey for about 10, 11 years, and I've had this school for about five. So um, I kind of fell ass backwards into teaching. I was a freelance illustrator, um, and then I just asked to do some teaching um, just to supplement my income. And it turns out I loved it more than anything else. And um, one thing that always had bugged me was art education uh, in some areas is um, not teaching you what most people want to t want to learn, which is like the fundamentals and, and everything. And so I went out of my way to, to go to America and learn how to really properly draw and paint um, and bring all that knowledge back here. Um, be the change you want to see. Uh, my name's Amit Dutta. I'm now a traditional artist full time, uh, but I actually went to university for physics and computer science and I did a whole bunch of jobs until I realized I wanted to do something more creative. Um, about 10 years ago, so I taught myself how to do digital art and tried to get good enough to start doing that full time, basically. First of all, I was reading books and having my imagination spurred. I'd read fantasy books and I'd look at the covers of them and the covers would sort of match certain scenes in the, um, in the stories and then obviously movies. So I think uh, those things sort of pushed me towards it. And I always loved drawing. So I was kind of drawn to drawing. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's, that's pretty much. Inspiration for art is very, uh, it changes a lot, I think. Um, sometimes it can be a specific thing that you look at or you, you've seen in the world, like maybe it's another artist or maybe it's an experience you've had or maybe you're just out in nature. I find nature is uh, really inspiring. There's so many amazing shapes and patterns and colors uh, to get inspiration from for design. So yeah, lots of different sources. Um, but the inspiration is kind of a side thing. I think just enjoying doing the art is the main thing for me, so. My name is Ben Dalabaka. Yep. I am an oil painter and I have been painting for around five, six years. No, there's a lot of beauty in oil paint and I think painting is probably like the most beautiful medium out there. It's just what I strive to do. I think it's awesome. Um, the, before when I was doing digital art, I was stuck in my cave uh, on my own basically doing all this stuff. Uh, but since going more traditional, I've met a lot of artists, gone to life drawing and classes and things like that. And I've met some amazing friends through that. We've just started our own studio up recently. And you know, none of that would have happened without uh, having an art community. And for such a, one thing I've noticed for such a small city, Wellington is a very small city, the amount of artists and resources and life drawings and creative people here is, is huge, actually. So I'm very lucky, I think. I've always been into fantasy art and that whole community has really, um, uh, being in Wellington has really kind of enforced that. And we've got all of these like top tier, some of the best in the world artists here, but because it's such a small city, we're all friends and we all know each other and we're able to um, talk with each other and be inspired by each other and help drive each other's success and encouragement towards it all. So I think that community is crucial, but it's also just so wonderful, and we're really lucky to, to be in it. Awesome, thank you. Man. Cool, wicked.